up YouTube. So I'm going to start identifying or rocks that uh, have gold. This here are some quartz. It's highly mineralized. You can see greens, reds, and some yellows, some whites, blacks. See some blacks up here. And let's go to the next photo. That's the wrong, actually, that's the wrong photo. Okay, bing, bing. Let's go right here. So here's what this other side of this rock looks like. Okay, so we're going to crush this rock up. We're going to see what kind of gold is in here. I found this when I was doing the video of mountain prospecting about a week ago. And so I figured, I figured I'd give this a crush, but I want to identify this rock in case I come across it again, whether it does or doesn't have gold. Let's see what it looks like crushed up. So that's what it looks like all crushed up. I could edit this a little bit and look at it a little closer. Um, yeah. See those darks in here? Darks, grays, we got some green here. Some reds. <laughs> to me, this would be a good quartz rock to look for gold in. If there was more of it, that would be great. This was the single item I found. And let's go to the video. And the quartz looked highly mineralized. That's why I picked this one up. See if anything is in there. Okay, here's a look at some of the gold that was in there. You got three nice pieces right there and you got a lot of smaller pieces. Plus, there's a lot more tiny, tiny pieces in there. Uh, I don't even know where it was now. This phone won't pick it up. But uh, there's another piece over there. But, uh, this is the magnifying glass I look through. I think that's a 30 time. So the stuff's really small. But I think in time it's going to add up. I'm trying to see that, see that gold right down in there. And that's a four time magnification right there. So not too bad. Quite a bit of gold right there. 